Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. An array is a group of elements of the same type that is stored contiguously in memory. As you can see the following diagram, it shows an integer array which is called C and it contains five elements. The type of the array specifies what type of variables the array can hold. And as we said before, that C is an integer array. That means that it can only hold integer values. To refer to a particular location or element in the array, we specify the array's name, which in here it's C, followed by the element's position number in square bracket. The first element of array is always located at position number 0. And the position number is called the element's subscript or index. A subscript or index must be a non-negative integer or an integer expression. As you can see in our example that the array's name is C. The value of the C array 0 index is 45. The value of the index 2 is 0. And the value of index 4 is 1543. A subscripted array name can be a left value, that means that it can be used on the left side of an assignment. So the statement that you can see in here, it replaces C's second index value, which currently it's 0, to the value 1000. And also, as an example, to print the sum of the values in array C's first three elements, we would write a statement like this. Also, as an example, to divide the value of element 3 of the array C by 2 and assign the result to the variable x, we would write a statement like this. Last but not least, it's very important that the brackets that encloses an array's subscript is an operator with the very highest level of precedence. So it's always evaluated before any other operator in the statement. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you. Stay tuned as we explore arrays and C programming language in the coming episodes.